So I just watched the trailer for She-Hulk. What the oh my god! I can't get it! 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 Okay, first of all, I want to clarify that this video is not about the actress Tatiana Bassani. I love Tatiana Bassani. Seriously, she would have Hunger Games. But instead, it's about what they've done to her to make this. Oh my goodness, what unholy acts did Kermit the Frog perform on Fiona from Shrek to produce this? How are you somehow genuinely less attractive than the green M&M? You look like the VeggieTales people trained to be a ninja turtle. I mean, somewhere out there, poor little Cindy Lou is getting a Vietnam flashback. You remind me of Disgust. I mean, both in the way you make me feel and your resemblance to the Inside Out character. Do you know what? I should call you Yo-Yo because you look like the forbidden love child between Yoda and Yoshi. If I saw her on the front of a sweet corn tin, I think I'd be going just for plain tuna sandwiches for the rest of my life. Okay, I got nothing. I mean, come on, guys. You've got to be honest. It looks like they just grabbed the guy in the green morph suit that they had on set. And instead of green screening him, just stuck googly eyes straight on his face. Doctor Strange 2 really used that much of your CGI budget, Marvel? How the mighty have fallen. Look, I seriously can't believe that Marvel allowed this trailer to be released. I am stunned. I'm, I mean, absolutely shocked that they let this trailer go out as it did. It looks like a video game and, and, and not a good one. Like, this is on Lara Croft Legend level. Okay, that was a brilliant game. And well, hey, hey, I guess that's it, MCU. We have officially graduated to full-on all-female reboots. Well done! Yay! I mean, you're right down there with Ghostbusters, Oceans, and Doctor Who. <laughs> you, you know what? Actually, speaking of Ghostbusters, this thing would have played a more convincing superhero. You see, the brilliant thing about the early MCU was that the films, although separate, had a somewhat similar or increasing stake level. I mean, you can see that in how a lot of the films had an Infinity Stone in them. But I mean, logically, how have we gone straight from an interdimensional absolute apocalypse to, I don't know, let's just see how many one-night stands Miss Non-Martian Manhunter can have. Okay, and it's everything that looks bad. Yes, Mark Ruffalo's Hulk obviously looks much worse than he did in Endgame. But you know, even the titles and the fonts, the fonts look like they were made by a 12-year-old with movie maker. I mean, I mean, not that there's anything wrong with that. And what are they saying? Y you'll like her. No! No, I don't think I will. In fact, I can bet good money that this is the worst thing to come out of Disney since Songs of the South. Wait, wait, wait. When she's angry, you will like her when she is angry. Think about that. A team of people wrote that phrase and actually thought that that was the best possible combination of words in the English language to offer this trailer. <laughs> What? She, she, Hulk attorney at law. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in all seriousness, the sad truth is some things should just be left in animation. You know, some things were built for, say, the cartoon style of the comic book pages. And she, Hulk, the character design was never, ever going to translate well into live screen without some serious redesigns. But oh my, hey, they were already so close with Gamora. You know, I, I figured they would have nailed it, but no such attempt was made. I guess they just thought, yeah, let's just take that and uh, I suppose marinate it in enough CGI to airbrush Judy Dench into Marilyn Monroe and then boom, it's the next Marvel thing. No, 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 I don't think that'll work. I'm really sorry. Well, I don't care. We're going to force feed it to these fans and they're going to like it. When the original Sonic the Hedgehog trailer came out, a very similar thing happened. And miraculously, the studio saw the fans outrage and managed to fix it for the film, completely redesigning the main character. And this was an amazing achievement. So if they can somehow pull it off for this, I, I, I think they're gonna have to. Because right now, I mean, screw this dude. This thing is the real abomination. Why is there a green Power Ranger? And now, morph into the Green Ranger!